The recent Google Ads update has completely revolutionized the way Google search campaigns will now work. And in this video, I want to break down this Google search campaign update for you and exactly what it means for your own e-commerce brand so you know what the next step should be when it comes to search campaigns. Now, the update that I am referring to is this one right here where essentially this update was designed to add more artificial intelligence based power to search ads in essence to increase the asset flexibility meaning the ad copy flexibility itself now there's a lot of interesting things which you can read directly within this article which i will have the link for it in the description box below but essentially on a very surface level this update directly impacts responsive search ads or those dynamic search campaigns which you can actually run with google ads and with this update now now, Google's artificial intelligence is able to identify the optimal combinations of headlines, descriptions, and these other site link extensions, which is here right here, to then determine its own approach, meaning its own ad copy per se, to showcase to your audience. Now, that might sound a little bit confusing, but by the end of this video, it's going to make a lot more sense. Now, if we start from the very top, essentially the reason why this Google search campaign was update was introduced was so that there could be a lot more asset flexibility in order to build more effective and relevant ads that deliver a great user experience so everything really at the end boils down to how good of an experience your current search campaigns are giving to the users and essentially this ai powered change to the search campaigns will not only impact their creatives and the way they show up but it's designed to essentially increase the asset flexibility and improve your results by finding the best combination of assets so essentially it now has the ability to change your headlines make them into the beginning of your description lines or it could make them show up somewhere else based on how the overall campaign and based on how everything is performing and essentially what this means is you are basically losing a little bit of the control you had over your dynamic search campaign simply because now google has a lot more of a smarter internal system it's able to exactly find out what the data says related to your ad copies to your search campaigns and then base the strategies around that data now you might be thinking what's the point of taking away a lot of this control from you as the user well the reality is google and its system has billions of dollars worth of data compared to us the advertisers for the brand owners who simply look at this data on a very broad surface level to determine what our next strategy should be and of course a robot that does all of these things is much smarter than us than any brand owner out there who might individually do all of these things so in order to add more relevancy to the search listings and make it easier for the users to find what they're looking for this update was basically introduced and it's going to give google a lot more control which means we are now going to lose a lot of the control we had over these responsive and dynamic search campaigns but it's at the same time going to reduce a lot of the guesswork which would often get introduced as you are running these search campaigns in general because the honest reality is whatever bid you said whatever target ROAS or target cpa you said unless it's based off of the real data with that which that ad account has been performing off of you're best basically guessing random numbers which is what google is trying to avoid in this situation and in addition to all of these things essentially if we now kind of scroll all the way to the bottom what will happen is anytime you have certain headlines or certain description lines which google thinks might even perform better as an overall site link extension up to two of these rsa headlines these responsive search ad headlines can serve in the space where the site link extensions were eligible because they're predicted to improve performance so whatever google thinks is going to increase the performance google Google will now take that action it will move around your words in that manner so now what does this mean for you in terms of the benefits well first and foremost the biggest benefit you will now have is in terms of the time efficiency because now it's more automated in terms of ad asset testing it's going to reduce the manual effort required to identify those good ad creatives and to move things around because let's be honest when was the last time you really checked how good your site link extensions were performing within a search campaign if you're like most brand owners the answer is probably probably a very long time ago so this kind of responsive search approach is going to actually make it much more efficient not only
only for you, but also for the algorithm, because now it can improve over time on its own without really much interference from your end. Second, it's going to lead to a lot of better ad relevance. Now, ad copies with search can mean it's all about the quality score. And the easiest way to boost your quality score is by creating better ad copies. And this responsive search approach is going to help you create those better search copies and ensure that your quality score stays high long term, because eventually this is going to lead to the third benefit, which is taking more data driven based decisions. Now, all of this performance data is what Google has in the back end. It's going to use that to refine your strategies and the assets themselves. So again, guesswork, it gets removed. Now it's all about the data, which then helps you understand also which side link extensions are working better, what approach is working better, what's not working better. So you can also provide a better strategy overall in terms of the writing, in terms of the ad copy, which is exactly how we're kind of approaching it for a lot of the brands we handle under my agency or marketing, which if you run a brand doing over 50,000 or more per month in revenue, you need some extra help scaling to the next level with Google ads. Go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a completely free call with me. And let's see how we can potentially work together and make that happen.